Okay, so here we are. I've got Iris and Scrub with me, and he's going to be doing the commentary for the Kaizo 64 run. Arzum, why don't you introduce yourself, introduce Stan, and introduce the game? I am... Probably... I'm not that qualified to commentate this game. I I would run this game if it not if it weren't for the final stage. The final stage is the only reason I haven't beaten this game 100%. But I'm the most qualified person to commentate that we have, apparently. So I'm doing this. Some other hard hacks. I haven't beaten any of them. Well, I'm sure you'll do a great job. So we're going to get a countdown here in the chat in just a moment, and then the run's going to start. Some scrub, sad potato. Out. Cutting out. All right, run should be starting, so good luck, Artisan, with the commentary. Cold is as low as possible. I can't lower it any further. I don't know what to do. What do I do? Are you there, Artisan? Uh, is my mic working? Right, is my mic working? Yeah, I, I can hear you. It's coming through just fine. Cutting out constantly. Yeah, it's it's cutting out a bit. Good Lord. Let's keep yelling. Sure, that'll work. Let's stop working. Thank you. Thank you, normal. for three and a half hours straight. That's my streams in a nutshell. I am an expert at that. Nalawa. No, not Nalawa. Restart the timer. Restart the timer. Yeah, we can hear you. Response is confusing me. Lower the My threshold is as low as possible. It's a run starting. Going. Start the timer. It's the capture. Looks like a movie trailer. Summer. 
time. Okay, uh... I should commentate the run. Um, coins with Koopa race because apparently that's fast enough. Say about this. Um, <clears throat> basically, um, this was probably one of the oldest acts. Uh, I'll get to it, I promise. I'll figure out how to... Set some 64 hacks. This was before you could... This was before you could change the level geometry. So, you'll notice most of the levels are the same. Back in 2008, I believe. For a new mic. I... My mic doesn't normally do this. Galactic, I'm at a loss. Going for reds. To on? I don't. In video. Push to talk? What? Always on. Always on. Push to talk. Push to talk is limited. Bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't. Well, now I'm here. Hi, Galactic. Really well, is Johnny. Since, since Arcism's mic isn't really working, I'll <laughs> explain what this game is. It's basically a very old fan game or ROM hack that only modifies the levels from the original game to make them stupid. Basically. Pretty much. As you can see with this level, it just has chain chomps everywhere. And as you can see, this level is called Chain Chomp Battlefield instead of Bobomb Battlefield. <laughs> few courses in the game where the name is actually changed. A lot of the other courses have useless name changes. Haunt was changed to Boo's Mansion, and the uh, cap courses were changed to Blank Switch Palace. Right. Yeah, and as you can see, this game likes to use fire for everything. I've never played this game actually, but I've watched people play it a lot, so... I've played this game. I have 120 stars, but I couldn't finish Bowser 3. So yeah, when there's uh, a flame, Right next to a cannon, you have to uh, you have to shoot at the right time, or else you'll get burned.
basically the story is doing right now is annoying because you have to shoot cannons at coins in the air and you can't even see them because the vendor distance is so bad. God, I wish there was a way to fix my mic. I really do. So yeah, if I ever were to run this and would have to do that star with all the coins, I would probably... it's working better. Yeah, it's working a bit better. I would probably have to use visual cues for everything, and Stan likes to call me a visual cue addict, so I guess that's no surprise. For visual cues. When you have Star 3 selected, the teleporter actually warps you to the island for whatever reason. Oh, I yeah. don't know why. Stan Lano would pull that to save the frames. Despite the fact that there are many other ways to do that. Do you see? Landing on the pole, then the falling animation isn't as long, so... Save some frames. And then this last star is easier than it looks. It was originally. So after finishing Chain Chomp Battlefield, the slide is up next. And there are, if I remember correctly, there are more stars here than in the original. Three stars here instead of just two. Yeah. This like is the extra one. star. It's just star. a box in the middle of nowhere. Big star. So the game gets surprised at you for collecting eight power stars and still living. This is Bowser One Reds, one of the hardest stars in the game. Oh yeah, we only get one star in the slide at first. We have enough stars to enter the first boss level as soon as possible. Without having to do LB on chain. It's dumb. For anyone who doesn't know it, it's just a it's just a backwards long jump you can use to enter Bowser One early. Vanilla. So one thing that this game likes doing a lot is forcing you to backtrack, which you will especially see in this level. So as you might notice, the commentary has a bit of delay because I can't uh, watch him his stream directly from VLC right now. So I have to watch the stream, same stream as everyone else, which means the commentary will be delayed. The execution, yeah, uh, <laughs> I would explain that more if I had actually played this game. 
But oh uh, yeah, I'll try to explain some basic movements. I suppose. Flame boost was not intended. Yeah, like who's example, commentating? Uh, Galactic and me, Artism. When you get hit by a fire, uh, you getting up to a running animation, which allows you to jump up slopes, which is kind of what he did. On that oh no, he died. Oh, that hurts really bad because he was really close to the end. Okay, but I'll guess I'll try explaining things uh, more specifically. This is not intended. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use the box. His movements is pretty clean, I don't really have that much to say about it. Except, well... Oh, duh! Dear God! Well, that's like a typical Super Mario 64 death. I with the objects. Yeah. But as you can see, being used a lot in Mario 64 is you can use triple jumps to jump on a steep slope. A special jump that really works on a steep slope. And there... The way you get speed from those platforms is like uh, he dives and then he like just goes down. Um, it's like works like a steep slope, you could say. So when he falls down, he gets a lot of speed. And he dives again. That's unfortunate. This is one of the hardest stars of the run. I don't think we're gonna have to restart or anything. Or more like, we're, we're gonna meet the estimate. Cause look how Stanley's gonna have a super clean Vulture 3. Just watch. You better not disappoint me, Stan. Have our HTQ flashbacks. Okay, so now I went for the coin he died too early on. Mm. Uh, earlier in the star and that worked out fantastically and now he went for that coin the intended way yeah that's the intended way oh that's another he, he the estimate Come on, Stan, you can do with this. Yeah, the slope ate the triple jump because it was too steep. That's another thing with Mario 64. It's on the right side, otherwise you just... Cheese it. Mario 64 has some really interesting physics. So, as you can see, he kind of did the same thing there from the slope where he slid down and triple jumped, which 
he didn't get that much speed there, but uh, you get to keep I've some speed. Way. You can keep speed by doing triple jumps, well, double jumps and triple jumps. And speed kicks and slide kicks. Speed kicks is basically a thing where after rolling out from a dive, you hold down A and press B to well then hold the stick neutral briefly and press B to kick. Which make you conserve speed. And you can also do it for slide kicks, but it's frame perfect, if I remember correctly. So as you can see here, he's attempting to ledge grab this platform. Um, Got it. it can depend a lot on what frame you all kick on. Like depending on how much speed you have, a first frame wall kick will either be good or be really bad. But for the most part, getting a first frame wall kick will mean you can't ledge grab. So. For the most part, a second frame is the best. Oh no! Jesus. Oh, he jumped off the edge. You oh can yeah, do the Stan stand. tends to type in chat early, so <laughs> he just spoils everything. I'm trying to troll everybody by typing, STOP MISSING THE STAR! But he didn't. Ah, oh, he was so close. Now you better though not disappoint me, Stan. Now you're gonna have a perfect TikTok clock, rainbow ride, and Bowser 3. You know, move the estimate. <laughs> Dan. We believe in a man called Stan. That's the, uh, that's the thing. Okay, so we got the um, coin on top of that tower. We're in wrong axe. And as you can see again, he uses the fire in order to not fall down because there's slopes. Since we have the effect of a fire. The game kind of just ignores whether if it's a slope or not. Okay, will he do it? Okay, he managed to ledge grab there, which means he doesn't have to take fall damage and potentially fall off. Please. One of the hardest levels in the game. This is probably... Imagine getting nervous over a single star in a full game speedrun. Okay, that's the last red coin. 
So if you ever speed run ROM hacks or play play ROM hacks, you know how much this cutscene of the star spawning can screw you over. But he was able to get out of his position in a good way, so we're almost at the end now. Okay, that doesn't really matter, but fell off the slope, but we should be fine. That's the star. Now, he just has to do some switch boxes to enter the pipe. The box These boxes are dumb. If you try to land on every box, you're not gonna make it. You have to skip a few boxes. With ease. And you don't have to be sorry. We already know you're gonna have a perfect boxer three. Also, the bomb is further out now, so you can't make it with just one throw. You mean one spin? Oh, wait, no, both, actually. <laughs> what am I thinking? He just gets that, that stage first try, or at least second. Run. Yeah, this is just marathon, but I know I'm gonna suffer a lot from marathon, but so now he's gonna do the classic slide trick. If you've uh, seen anyone play Mario 64, you'll know that. But instead, he's gonna land on top of the slide. You basically bump to the wall a couple times to change your direction. So you can jump up the slide. And now the wing cap the stage is completely unchanged. Alright, there's another star added. Oh yeah, except for now. Not changed at all. So basically, <laughs> you want to land on that small box. And you want to get some dust on your dive egg, which also means don't roll out immediately, because otherwise you get a bunch of speed and not make it. But you don't want to wait, delay the dive, well, delay the rollout for too long either. So that's pretty tricky to land on, because you can't ground pound and the box breaks. So as you can see, this game is Kaizu Trap. You need a wing cap to enter Womp's Fortress, or else you die as soon as you enter. Jeez, I didn't use a wing cap to fly through the level. So don't even try. So the Womp fight is pretty... Pretty straightforward. Oh, all the ergs. Do, do I have to make a womp impression now? <laughs> I was just about to say, I think it's better if we don't. But I guess you did it anyways. <laughs> So here's where the fun begins, you have to climb up all these uh, falling platforms.
and then cannon it in the middle of nowhere. Here we go. Pretty standard Kaizo stuff. Yeah. Okay, looks like he's going for 100 coins. Yeah, you can power up 100 coins with red coins for the most part. In the main courses, that's what you normally want to do. Now for this cannon, don't move the aiming. Just the default position you want to get to the other cannon. It pulls. Fire. Oh yeah, and I believe Ooh. all of this is just for a red coin, so, yeah. Star classic yeah. design. Drops down to get another red coin the non-intended way. Didn't really think of that. Came with save states two years ago. I thought you were supposed to do that to get into the owl cage. You're sticking with the middle. Way. Just don't play this game. <laughs> there are better roam hacks out there. Way better. So yeah, the lower part of this level isn't as bad. Yeah, that's it for the 100 coins red coins. That too is one of the hardest stars in this pack. Yeah, until Tippy. You don't want to see Tippy. Wait. Most of this game isn't horrible, except for uh, uh, TikTok talk and Rainbow Ride. Right. And of course, Bowser 3. You definitely don't want to see Bowser 3. I suppose he's going for that star that was right above the red coin. Well, he's past Bowser 1, so...
Oh yeah, Mario 64 has two different camera modes. Um, there's uh, like two Mario. Very broken. Well, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It films in very weird directions sometimes, and Mario Cam will stay behind you. And the camera buttons will just slightly adjust the angle. You can see in the bottom right corner which camera mode he's using. My mic's still cutting out a lot. Not as much as before. It, okay. It's better. Turn it off and back on. No, I'm hyped for Treasure World. So yeah, this is gonna be the last star of this slide. Normal star. CCM. This stage is also interesting. shortcut is blocked off. Why isn't he doing every star on love before passing the next? Well, basically, by getting a star in the slide, you spawn back in the lobby, so by going to the slide and from a point that is closer to the slide, he can end up in the lobby afterwards, because if he did all of the slide at once, he would have to walk all the way over there every time. These blue coins are dumb. Oh yeah, you can go onto those bridges from underneath. I would assume. Yeah, there's no down there. They have, yeah, no, no question. So there's a lot of fire on the slide. Here we go. 
fire hitbox is kind of weird because the hitbox is as wide on every part of the flame but the flame looks wider on certain parts so it's like on some parts of the flame you can stand inside it and be fine and on others you'll get hit without even touching it no i don't think stan ran regular 120 so here you get a star up in this tight shortcut yeah he's going backwards to the shortcut area you can basically use shells to climb up slopes And now because it's in a box, he has to dismount the shell. Stan might run vanilla? Also a reminder that the timer is actually at like 38 minutes. general term for unmodded something. So yeah, there's a slight shortcut that's, you know, not intended, so it doesn't matter that the shortcut is locked off. of these stars are unchanged, like the Penguin Star. Yeah, that's the exact same strat as in the regular game. one of the first ROM hacks, Pat. It was made in 2008, I believe. So here's the penguin race, but with fire, and you can't cheat the penguin race. Now Stan always types in chat during a run. He types in cutscenes. A lot of people don't use microphone, and they do it out. The reason he's not the one commentating. Reason he can't get eight red coins with one hundred coins that you'll see once he gets the eighth one. The eighth one.
take note of where the star seemed to appear there. There's a cannon. Fire in the cannon. Here we go. You can't get that star by just climbing up the mountain. Believe me, I've tried. This star works just like the original. It's completely unchanged. Yeah. Fires. This game has like no difficulty curve. <laughs> And change object behavior with Toadstool 64. It'll turn into an undefined combo. So if you drain the moats, you enter Banish Cap. It's backwards. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing backwards. Oh, and as you can see, these levels are called Switch Palaces now, instead of out of the blank. Oh yeah, the main purpose of the caps in this game is so you can enter levels, because like pretty much every level in the basement has a Kaizo trap, which means if you don't have the necessary caps, you'll die as soon as you enter. In Course 7, the Wing Cat Kaizo Trap breaks the whole thing. Get them, you just spawn on quicksand and die. Here we go.
as you can see excellent course brings you back to the lobby so it's useful for uh, getting back to a good place so it's faster to enter lobby Now in this part of the game not really much happens, it's not really too much, but it's super hard, you could say. So since Artism's microphone is working right now, I might uh, go ahead and take a little break and be back later and let Artism take care of this for a while. I just noticed, don't show pianos to the fan game community. I will be back soon, I want breakfast. How to explain most of this. Cause they get PTSD, Dev. <laughs> oh, most of the bosses in SM64 make the same <laughs> noise. Yes, we have Gachi Base. is like one of the few people that doesn't 25 coins never mind Star 2. There's a lot of pianos on this stage. Chomp spam, now there is piano spam. the uh, threshold for the vanish cap. So now we have to go back and grab the vanish cap and go in again. Oh. One hundred coins in this is interesting. There are two blue coin switches, and you don't do either of them. So 
the camera and the eyeball area, dear god. intentional, don't worry. And that box is pretty much entirely RNG. Going from blues. Now he's actually trying to get these coins. You have to have such that you would skip two blue coin switches. No, thirty more coins. I would 98 coins matter. Seventy two. Hold on, you'll get that joke. Not good. Okay, that's one hundred coins. Coins and dollars. Um, rate of inflation in the Mushroom Kingdom? Yeah, zero. Zero.
thank you. That's to that freaking camera. Got an ad, so I have no idea what's going on. Sorry. <laughs> I'm getting that one ad with the cows. I, I got the left field ad. way to glitch inside of the cannon area. It requires PU movement. Oh, you know exactly what that is. No, Mushy, there is zero star. And I don't think anyone ever will at this rate. Parallel universe movement. On the leaderboard, speedrun.com slash km64, I'm pretty sure, and it, Artism Scrub. Blackstick should also be commentating, but he's AFK. See me? This is Dire Dire Docks. It's even easier than the original stage. I am pointed in Omega Edge for not doing this stage right opportunities. He could have, like, removed the poles or something, added timed boxes. I don't know. I've been uploading more on his second channel. Stick to come back too. I want breakfast. is easy. How is this easier than the original? Uh, it's the same profile pick I use everywhere. 
It's Ela Mario. Blue coins. XCB M Human Task Sheep and BLJ and 80 Star because I'm that cool. Think mushy. Died since the last Star Revenge marathon. Band in 80. There's not even any BLJs in Zero Star. Uh, in Super Mario 64, the green stars. To say about this stage, it's pretty much the same as the original. Shep is running green stars. This is absolutely amateur hour. Just <laughs> look at this. Amateur hours. Actually, at this rate, there's probably going to be four amateur hours. One. Took him to make this hack. Yeah. The last Bowser course is the only course I haven't actually beaten myself. Oh, bad. Mario World is different, since they were actually able to change the levels. It need to be played without save state. You're on this game. Nobody around here speedruns this game.
dating because I have 120 stars. But I haven't beaten the last level, so... I'm the most qualified to commentate this. Out of anybody that's watching this. Con comes in or something. Simple Fluffs doesn't even speedrun anymore. All he does is play Mario Maker with Fox and while well, listening to. better hang out Testing, testing, one, two, three. Clear. Galactic, please come back. I want breakfast. I want to take a break, too. Okay, forced labor right here. I know <laughs> essentially nothing about the basement. Okay. Well, I thought artism would take a risk, like I said, I don't know much about this hack. 
But yeah, as you can see, that's another Kaizo trap. And there's a gate there that you have to walk kick over. Okay, yeah, thanks for the help, Chris. Um, so the game can crash in this stage if he makes a mistake at the bottom of the level. Just you know, I totally knew that. Twitch chat was coming to you, yeah. to say this I don't know much Say the least. Got his okay, what's going on? HMP. Hang on, I need to put in my earbuds. Oh, it's a Spanish word. That's why I needed to roll the R. Oh. That makes more sense. 
The question is just if it's in, if it's uh, Spanish, is the E silent or do I pronounce the E? It's soup zero. Okay, so it just R with the a roll R. Yeah, that's a classic Mario 64 thing if you if you double jump and kick that gate, you land in the water and be able to press the switch. Uganda Knuckles. So yeah, as you can see there in Easy Maze Cave is kind of glitched. You can just kind of jump through rooms like that because uh, it has no ceiling. Okay, so we'll, I still be taken hostage and have to commentate around I don't even know. We'll see what chat says. I can commentate now. Oh, yeah, there are a lot of boulders. If you get bad RNG, you die. She could just kidnap me. Oh, no. It's soup, Pat. That's a weird breakfast. It's whatever. Now when I think about it, I'm kind of hungry as well, and I probably won't eat until 6 p.m. Central European time, and it's like not even 3.30 p.m., so <laughs> I might go and get something to eat. Uh, okay, yeah, this is the I'm main here now. level. This level is completely unchanged except for the music. The normal music is replaced with the slider theme. Yeah, I'll, I'll go and eat.
And I, I'm not a person who brings food to my room for the most part, unless it's like candy, so I'll be gone for a while. Stan went doing one cycle reds. How would it, Jake? He died like five times in Dark World. be done with HMC. Remember correctly, next up is Lethal Lava Land, the most broken stage of the game, probably. Be unchanged. for the, the dumbest skip in the game. That metal cap, you can get the wing cap.
When's replacing Mario with Marisa? When Pi releases Dank Rave 10. Ten coins are dumb. So many inside jokes. That's a pretty interesting star. Fantastic. Block. Why does he have a course there? Got both stores. Okay, so Stan is failing and tilting apparently. Don't worry. <laughs> like not anything, but he does tilt a lot. I know how the volcano works. Also,
Sen. Impression. birthday? I didn't know. Me. Probably, I don't know. Get this star without the wing cap, you could just do slide kicks over every red coin. But apparently, the wing cap is faster. logic. There are too many inside jokes going on, just wait until Shower TJE comes in. Oh wow, Kaze is here. going for that star. Here we go. For this bad star. That's the 09. It's a, a let's play. It's apparently part 9.
it's a thumbnail from some guy's Let's Play. The people in this marathon were too lazy to crop out the nine. some guy made more than one episode of this game. It starts off easy. Omega Edge made a full let's play? Are you kidding? I didn't him anywhere online. Wait, did Omega Edge delete everything? I haven't seen Big Dip on a boss's Let's Play. I myself have finished the game with, uh, game. I have 120 stars, I still need to finish the last level. Is it really half working again? Here we go. Let's go. I'm 15, I would not drink. Son does not contone teen drinking. Listen to Nightcore. <laughs> At Katsai Fame. Someone who would scream dumb memes in online games and think he's funny. Well, 
I in the past. Time rock fight. One hundred twenty word. Imagine caring about the length of an essay. What not to do at a stoplight? Bob wear pants. Did he type more words in a Twitch chat? Uh... Challenge did it way better. When's Masters Challenge 51 star? My players. Oh, that's how you got that metal cap? I tried to do this strat casually. <laughs> on laptop. I'm watching on laptop! Numbers <laughs> red? I don't know, maybe bad split time? Because tree. Galactic, we're not in basement anymore.
explain frame walking. Someone link the pan and comic video. Alt called Stan OPOP addict, so maybe I am. Ship clip got patched. A seven is basically frame perfect. Afraid of seven, because seven is a registered six offender. Plastic, we're out of basement. Once we get to treasure world, you'll know why 72 is important. Yeah, everyone else is just...
Okay, so that star is basically unchanged. Well, 100 coins isn't, but the, uh, the treasure chests are unchanged. I have been summoned. I am Stan SM64 addict, except not, because he does not use microphone. Stan doesn't even have a mic. Oh yeah, the ship is invis invisible, which is pretty fun. The invisible ship is actually foreshadowing. Oh, it's not really foreshadowing, it's just re a recurring thing. So I'm not really sure what stars he is missing in Jolly Roger Bay, but okay. Claw. This, oh yeah, this star, you can just swim to it. The jet stream is supposed to prevent you from doing it, but if you have good timing on your swimming, you can make it. So the optimal way of swimming is not mashing A. You want to time your A. You want to time your A presses? I'm pretty good, Gina. Oh no worries, Stan. Um, Artism Stan got the, a co-commentator. Okay, I, <laughs> I think I'm gonna stop that meme now. It's only Artism Scrub and Galactic here. Well, Stan does have a voice, actually. He did a face reveal once. He recorded a video of him saying, please, no. <laughs> He's shutting out. Where is this video? It doesn't exist. It was unlisted. And, well, he only sent it to a few people that he promised to send it to. And it's deleted. So yeah, this is Wet Dry World. I'm not exactly sure what has changed in here, but... Oh, a Beetle J coming up. So basically, Mario 64, if you've seen any 16 star runs or similar, you know that you can backwards long jump up slopes to gain a lot of speed, because there's no cap on backwards speed. Okay, so I assume that the was just... Coins? Yeah. I played through this level you, and I had right? no idea. So now we failed the BLJ, but basically, slow BLJs are kind of luck. Well, star and slow BLJs, well, at least slow BLJs I know are kind of luck based, because, it, well, it's a factor that makes you be able to get it or not, that you can only affect in pass so yeah getting it con a hundred percent consistent is it essentially pass only yeah what well, Curry <laughs> said each long jump adds 50 percent of your current speed to your total speed and because i'm you're long jumping really quickly right so your speed rises exponentially 
Yeah. So as you saw there, he was very close to a ledge when he grabbed the 100 coin star, so he jumped so he would land on the edge instead of landing back on the ground, which saves a bit of time. I'm not sure what that's called, but it's a cool thing to do. It might be star dance clip or something. Sure, it's Star Dance clip. No, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, it's called Star Dance clip. So yeah, these water crystals, as you can see, they changed the water level and they're placed a bit differently in Kaizo. These block things, well... He just put the platforms at a specific spot, and they always follow with where the water is rising, so... They're, they are like that by default. They act like that by default. He really stack them like that? That never happens in the original. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, now the game logo looks wonderful. I'm not sure who made it zoom in on the nine. Beautiful. I think the tech crew, you might have something to look into. C4009 Well, <laughs> this tech crew is more professional than anything we can have at our own half marathons. When we have relay races, we need we don't have enough people, so we need the host to switch the stream while he's playing. SF64 Online version 9. And I guess RHDQ, Rom Hacks Done Quick, is even worse. <laughs> Bad managing was chaotic. No, RHDQ is dead. We have SRM instead. HDQ got destroyed when they gave Stan a really bad estimate for a Night of Doom run. That's not how it got destroyed. It got destroyed because Void is a much better host than Crewthon. <laughs> Oh my god, it says commentary exclusively by Stan SM64 Addict. That's terrible. What? Stan is the one Yo, who yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, it says the... <laughs> oh my god. 
We need a tech crew. <laughs> what is the tech crew doing? Oh, now the spawn point has changed. Okay, it's fixed. <laughs> That might help <laughs> But yeah, wet dry world is nothing special, as you can see. It's pretty basic. Okay, so next is Tiny Huge Island, which is, uh, well, it has a special type of Kaizo trap, because instead of there being a cat lock, you instead spawn right next to Baba and he got eaten. So if you go in the small painting, you die instantly. That's another trap. Um, yeah. You have to enter the big side of the island. Can I get a Beetle Jane? There aren't really any Beetle Jays in this run, except for the one in the Dry World, unless I'm missing something. Are coins already? So there he used the invisibility frames to be able to kick the box with the flame in the way. Yeah, it skips a lot of the beginning of the level. This level is actually really annoying to go through because you're supposed to have go to go through a really annoying section every time. But yeah, that skip is pretty cool. So I'm not exactly sure which star he is pairing up 100 coins with, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's with does. the plant star. The secrets on the tiny island. Oh. So yeah, opening the cannon just lets you go to the tiny island without dying. Oh no. Rip. Well, how to escape Chuck, yes? Yeah, Push sure. A and oscillate the control stick. Well, yeah, basically. If you can register that, I believe it. How many times is it you need to re register that to escape? I know you have to register a presses. Well, you have to register those inputs a number of amount of times to be able to escape. And it's a bit of RNG because it's. Uh, 
it's RNG how long the Chakya holds you before he throws, so sometimes it can be nearly impossible to escape. Yeah, 11 frames minimum. And if it's 11 frames, it's really hard. Because this is a 30 FPS game, and uh, so 11 is like a third of a second. It can be frame perfect. Ah, oh, okay, I mean, ah, oh, okay, I see. So, 12 frames is the minimum he can, the Shakya can spin you, and 11 is the minimum to break free. So it's frame perfect if you're unlucky. Mario 64 has a lot of interesting mechanics, you wouldn't know if the... Well, you wouldn't know playing casually. Because there are a lot of mechanics that you don't even need to use at all when running the original game, like breaking free from Chuck Yes. Pretty much never gonna have to be a thing. Or so Light Chakya. <laughs> Light Chakya is a pretty cool trick that you'll see in Super Mario Treasure World on Monday. So Gina just said died all, so I may as well explain that. Died all is a typo of died lol that basically turned into. Like, if you type exclamation mark Didal in a ROM hack chat, you'll- someone will purge you. Even in a nutshell. Okay, so this is the tiny island. Which you kind of spawn on the side, so you have to jump over there. So yeah, I believe- The five secrets are still in the same location. Yeah, the secrets are unchanged. But it's just getting over here is much harder. Yeah, I won't tell you what light chakya is, I'll just tell you it's very cool. Well, the reason Diadol turned into Purge Chain is because Sizzling Mario 4 had a command in his chat called exclamation mark kill me that will purge you. And uh, once Chris made a Didol typo, uh, that, well, the kill me command got replaced by Didol. So many inside the jokes <laughs> that we're, we're turning into behind the ROM hack meme. Well, I would talk about the run if I actually knew something about it. Talk game. about. Okay, so apparently there's a box there which makes getting that star easier. Because in the original game, you can just slide down and jump to get to that platform, and it's kind of precise. In the original guess... game, there were timed boxes. Yeah, but if you're speedrunning the original game, you would just slide from the top. Not that. And it got eaten again. No focus, please no. Mm. 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 
Uh, don't talk about that, okay? Oh, he just got Saba pinged three times in a row. Saba ping is a fish emote, by the way. So he got eaten by the fish three times in a row. Ugh, that's rough. Accent the exit of the cave. Dying. This camera going into the cave. Whole number is spliced. What else are we supposed to talk about, Mushy? There's nothing interesting going on in the run. Well, uh, these red coins are interesting. Because you see, their placements make for a. F it looks like a fun platforming challenge, I can't really <laughs> say myself since I haven't played this, but it looks pretty fun. Yeah, but the reason there's not much to talk about here is because this is just an um, edited version of the original game. Like, this run is really- this run is really interesting, but there's not much to talk about. That's kind of how you can say it, because it's similar to the original game in a lot of uh, aspects. Yeah, I wouldn't call it uninteresting. No, we're not gonna play Hangman. <laughs> There's enough to talk about in that aspect. We shouldn't have to start playing Hangman. <laughs> okay, Shaq and but commentators are not. So now we're gonna get a star in this area. At playing. So again, a cannon in the middle of nowhere. And then you gotta get through this mess of boxes. I know this because I I watched Big Tip on a bus play this game. He's a, he's a pretty entertaining guy. <laughs> and on box spam fan game confirmed. <laughs> 
Which place highly matters should be a thingy. But yeah, I guess this level in particular, because I explained the the um, invisibility frames thing for that skip at the beginning, and then there's like do that every star, do some other things, be done. But yeah, now he's gonna do the crown plant star. And I guess the gimmick here is that <laughs> they're just spread throughout the whole level. I mean, spreading things out in one whole level is uh, not really a big deal in the original game since the levels are fairly small. At least compared to ROM hacks, they're fairly small. As you can see, that Piranha Plant is an interesting spot. And there, he almost got killed by the Chakya, because uh, if a Chakya, if he would have thrown him um, in the wrong direction, he would have gotten, he would have been thrown inside of the mountain. Not an ad. There might be water there, actually, so he wouldn't have died. I'm not sure. He either would have died or ended up in water inside of the mountain. So this is a classic Kaizo, just uh, had a star on the way to another star, this is a Piranha plant on the top. So pretty classic. Put a fire right next to the star because Kaizo. So now he's actually gonna clip into the mountain to enter Wiggler's Cave. And the fight is unchanged. He could have added fire or something, but no. So I believe that's Tiny Huge Island done. Yes. We only have Tall Tall Mountain left until we get to, to the most fun courses.
This jump is crazy. So, I believe you can't do the skip you would do in the middle here, so you have to go through the slide. I'm not sure if he's gonna do, um, if he's gonna do 100 coins now or not. Yeah, he's doing 100 he coins. You can do the vanilla skip. Oh, you can? Oh, never mind. Yeah, you can. I thought it would be like the DS version where there's a gate to prevent you from skipping the slide. So this secret star is interesting because there are like secrets everywhere pretty much. And secrets are just things you have to collect on the level. And there are a lot of them that are like in the air. So you have to like ride on the wind. As you can see here, all of red coins are over the edge because you have to use the, the wind. Okay, hangman break is over. So yeah, we're almost done with the 100 coins and we have 4 of the secrets, so we should see him um, 2 more stars soon. As long as he doesn't die, so let's pray nothing goes wrong because this star is pretty long. Oh, I guess there weren't really that many secrets over the wind. It might be the red coin stuff over the edge. Yeah. As you can see, the wind is kind of stupid, so sometimes you go too far out, you just die. And yeah, you gotta go far out so you can actually get under the red coin. 
but then that happened, so... This is apparently hard. See, I predicted it four hours. Dude, Stan saying this is gonna take four hours, but I know he's wrong because I already predicted that. Uh, Take Talk Talk, Rainbow Ride, and Monster 3 will all be perfect. And even if he fails, we can just pretend it was perfect. Jesus, what is going on? It's called Wind Things to Pick. So yeah, Stan's just so good that he's he's gonna he's still gonna get a good time. I don't know if it's usually like this, but <laughs> it looks good. It's usually all like this. So he has to go outside the wind so he can fall down and then go inside. Okay, so that should be it. Yes. So, I uh, like you can see here, yeah. triple jumping up the slope, it's a common thing, like I said earlier, and that's pretty much identical to what you do in the original game. 
Well, I'm, unless I've been blind, it doesn't seem like he does uh, mountain cliff, but that, I don't know, that might be slower in Kaizo since you spawn at a different spot. But basically, what mountain cliff is, it's something you do in the original game. Four walls. Where you um, long jump into the mountain and clip through, then swim for a bit and you upward. a nice monkey grab. Oops, what's going on? Oh, oh, oh! Uh, scratch. Kaizo is incredible! It's the only stage I haven't done! Man, that reminds me of Pokemon a bitch. It's like m m monkey, monkey. <laughs> I don't know. It's we, we should not match, mention random things. So we still have Snowman's Land. I forgot about that. So as you can see, he kind of used speed from sliding down a slope there. So yeah, these red coins are kind of stupid because you have to climb up the snowman several times and jump to them. I mean, it's important. But like doing slow kicks here uh, to get back to the main platform isn't as bad as it looks. And yeah, that I guess those last two you can just cheat. Because <laughs> you're fairly close to the main platform. So now he just needs to collect coins. Since he's doing this with 100 coins. So the entire way to get into the ego is what he just did, he keep going into it. But just actually a small spot where you can enter the ego without crawling and it's pretty cool.
So yeah, there are a lot of coins in the igloo, so now we're essentially done with this. Some quality RNG. Yeah, money bags are just RNG. It's really annoying. Because then coins spawn really far away. It's called dropping red coins. And um, it's Galactic Viper. Hello. And Artism, but the. Uh, yeah. Said commentated exclusively by Stan in 64 Anthony. Ah, he fell off the box. But at least you don't die, so you can just back up with another star. The 09 was there earlier because that's a thumbnail of a Let's Play. So yeah, just like in the original game, this level is fast. So now he's gonna try to do the box start one more time. I hope he'll fall off this time. So yeah, those boxes can probably be hard if you're a beginner, but if you're used to Mario 64 on hat, you can probably do that with ease. But you know, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you can miss a kick, accidentally die, or just not kick far enough if you're. So yeah. And there you have to sign off and land on a box. Which, again, well you don't need to land on it, you just need to ground pound, but... Yeah, it's a pretty classic high school. Sorry, this can't be done in half an A-press. Yeah, this star is unchanged. Wish I wouldn't have to say that all the time. So now we're going up to the top floor, so now we're getting to the worst part of the run. There is there to prevent people from BLJing. That's pretty smart. Okay, TikTok clock is first off. Huh? This level is an absolute. Hmm, how do I say it with, uh, without swearing? Ash 
masterpiece. Okay, this level is an absolute masterpiece. Not worse. Rainbow Ride does not have exactly 100 points. Yeah, tick tock clock. Okay, I think he's doing 100 coins first. The thing is here, there's a lot of coin RNG in this level that's gonna make coins fall off the stage. And there are exactly 100 coins here. No, Chris Link, you can do it without pressing B. Well, you can't do it without both A and B. Well, you actually need to press B a few times. For the final no, you don't. You can, just, you can just lure Bowser towards the bomb and uh, and no, just not. drop Bowser and just wait for Bowser to drop himself right at the bomb. It still takes three B presses. Last throw, you can just let go because of fire. Well, still three B presses to grab Bowser. Oh! All oh, right. That's a problem. It, it's the same thing with King of Bomb. It takes three B presses to beat because uh, you need to grab him by pressing B, and then you can release him by doing, doing some edge movement. So as you can see, this is incredibly slow. <laughs> there might be a blue coin switch, but still slow. Okay, yeah, here are the blue coins. Which still only leaves us with 58. Okay, so we're actually finally close to the end now. We're at 86 coins, and I'm pretty sure. Oh no! Can he can he recover that? He missed one coin. Ah, oh. is the loner? No. Oh. Dude, 99. That is so sad.
This is uh, a loss of one coin. Well, let's see if Stan can recover this. So, that was sad because he got past the worst part with all the coin RNG. And then he. Worst part of the stake. Well, the coin box is also RNG, but not as bad. So we have to hope that he won't get destroyed by RNG. Yeah, it's just uh, I, I, I typed a very bad thing. It's, I don't know. I lost for words. Yeah, CB, I think we could all guess that after that mistake. Oh no. That is not fun. It's the beginning that's worse at this start. This is yes, the hardest time to run. This is probably the hardest star. And well, while in the sky probably is the hardest part for Stan because muscle memory. We need that in speed run at that level. Stan probably knows Valtry in the sky very well, so this might be the hardest part for him. Finishing a run like this is hard. So as you can see there's a hero right there. And he waits until he's about to stop. In order to try to grab that shot, yeah. If hero sick. 
run a cycle where they move around and follow Mario. Like, what is it? I don't know, it's like 10 seconds or something. Then they stop for a while. And the coin fell. Now we have to go for another star. Yeah, this is the hardest star of the run. That's why take top box so good. So when he misses a coin, he can just back up with another star. So yeah, one thing that you probably can notice is you can't enter this level on free speed because then you can't get off the beginning platform. Well, it's 120 without Bowser 3. Bowser 3 has no star. I just finished the game. So we could just skip Bowser 3. If uh, we wanted to. Okay, so he's going for uh, secrets now, it seems like. Yeah, I guess he wants to take a break okay. from attempting 100 coins. I guess it would be good to prevent getting corrupted to go for another star. So yeah, secret next star star. Classic Kaiso design. Here we go. That was very close. Okay, so is he still saving 100 coins or? Seems I think he's saving it every time he misses the first red. Ah, uh, makes sense. You can still get underestimate. Alright, so without perfect tippy. Let us see. Will he get the first red coin now? Wait. Oh no. He died. 
and X. Turn six. Maybe it doesn't do really matter. Maybe entering at 6 makes it harder. Because ideally you want it to move as fast as possible. Okay, you got the first red coin, so now we can go for 100 coins. So, let's bless RNG to be on our side. Come on, leave stand a bless RNG. Less RNG worked. How RNG though? <laughs> oh god. Imagine if he had accidentally exited course. Yeah, I hope someone clipped that. <laughs> that was. something. Okay, that's a sign. This has to be the attempt. See, the heave ho stopped. We killed the Chakya perfectly. This is gonna be it. Now RNG is on his side. Let's go. Our man Stan is gonna do this. A drink, hang on. Okay, let's go Stan. He's doing it. This is hard because you gotta go fast. On those specific red coins from earlier. But yeah, now we're past the worst parts of the star. We just gotta not get destroyed by RNG at the end. Oh no 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 no. Oh He missed it initially so nah He missed the coins on the initial oh when he break the when he broke the box and then he got that RNG so he couldn't recover. Okay, you got the hero red coin, so we have uh, another possible attempt.
Okay, let's see. Okay, the heave ho is, yeah. There was the, the heave ho chuck, yeah, the cooperate really, so. I need another try. Okay. Oh, oh, that was. That was really good and really close. Okay, let's go. Press RNG. Even hopes are really annoying enemies to deal with. If one is standing close to you, it's so hard to punch. Especially if you have to stand still on one place. Okay, now we gotta get the this red coin down here. Hopefully that goes well. Okay, just gotta get out. Okay, I'm back. Did he okay. die on the attempt that um yeah, had that thing? He... Well, no, he didn't die, he just missed it. He got the coin RNG at the top again. Ow. He had like 83 coins. Okay, so... We have 6 red coins, so... We can start filling upwards now, after getting the blue coins. Bless RNG for the 10 coin boxes. They are very RNG heavy, as you've seen. They have screwed a solar twice now. Oh well, but they have screwed stamina. All these bless RNG have to work. So it is first. Now be an appropriate time to spam bless RNG. Okay, here comes the box. Okay, the first one. Now he just needs to get the second box. Okay. Yes, he did. Now he just needs to get the last two red coins. And that is it. And then get stomped on the swamp, I presume. No, he already got it, because he failed already. Okay, that's the hardest star done. Well, it is hard because of RNG. That's what makes it so hard. Because <laughs> you gotta do the jump well. I spent four hours on the star casually, and none of my deaths were to RNG. Due to not being able to move, but not to RNG. Okay, the, now he's almost dead, so let's hope he can get this star without having to end his level. I believe this is the last star in TikTok Claw. Okay, he did it. Yeah, that's the last star of the top block. So either he's gonna go to the cloud stage or to rainbow ride now. Okay, rainbow ride it is. So here he starts with one health. That star was raised because there was nothing else changed about that star.
Okay, I'm not exactly sure how hard the red coins and hundred coins are here. But I guess we can see. But yeah, Bowser 3 is even better than the Kaizo aspect. So there are a few easy stars here, as you can see. They're very similar to what you would do in the uh, Mario 64 speedrun of the original game. He added typos on two of the stars. So here is a platform that moves really fast, so he probably has like a visual cue or something, so we know when to start running there. Which is why it took so long to set that up. Pole grabs. Pole. I guess uh, I'll explain it when I pay more attention. I just want to climb up. Oh. Uh, jumping off the pole and re-grabbing, that's actually hard. Like, I... I... I don't really... Understand that. <laughs> but, like, you jump off the pole and <laughs> re -grab it. I don't really understand that. Yeah, same shape. That's one thing I don't know how to do. Can Chris explain how to re-grab holes? To dive. Oh, you dive? Okay, that makes sense. So you jump off the pole and uh, dive? Okay. Yeah, dive backwards. So as you can see, again, a lot of this is actually pretty similar to the original game of where you go. It's a great start! Oh, this platform is invisible. Now that's the thing this game likes to do sometimes. Okay, so we have three more stars to get in this stage. Okay, red coins. Red! This area crashes a lot because of loading too many flames at once. So... 
let's see, will he do this with 100 coins or not? He got the blue coins, he's probably doing it with 100s. Well, I he could have gotten the blue coins just to heal. Oh, oh, it spawns over there. Okay, it's definitely doing 100 then. Okay, let's see where he goes. So he jumps down to the start. Yeah, that makes sense, because... Oh, there's a lot of coins there. What? Oh, okay. So... I thought he would get 100 coins with that. No, he just wasted like a second of coin counting. Oh, wait. Oh, he's doing it with the big house in the sky. Okay, that makes sense. There, there might be a lot of coins in the big house. Okay, no, this makes a lot of sense, actually. Oh, right, I'm pretty sure there's a 10-coin box on the big house, and you can't get 100 coins without it. Oh, I see. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, you don't need exactly 100 coins here. There's a bit more lenience in this level. He's really consistent at that. Yeah, well, I jumped onto the platform. Well, we're most likely getting over us. I mean, underestimate. We could get underestimate if. Bowser 3 goes well. And um, I would assume Stan is. Bowser um, 3, Stan yeah. Stan is good at Bowser 3. Okay, let's hope this goes better. Okay, there we go. That's like it. Okay, he's skipping a lot of coins, so it seems like there's a lot of leniency here. Okay, imagine warping to the big house so you can just use the cannon. Oh, never mind, there's... Is there gonna be a warping in the house? I would assume that's what you mean. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's a warp inside the house. The house. Yeah, but... Let me Oh, okay, it's in the fireplace. That was very close. Come on. Yeah, there's a lot of flamethrowers that make this hard. Okay, we're in there. Okay, three ten coin three boxes. Ten coin boxes. Line of five coin points. points. Okay, that's Rainbow Ride now. Now we only have uh, the. Yeah.
I wonder why he does the TikTok block before, and Rainbow Ride before this. In Vanilla 120 star, in the cloud stage harder. first. Oh. Well, are you gonna reset that far into the run? Okay, that was a quick death. Oh! Oh, right, I, <laughs> I forgot to be, to be taken all the way down. Dang. Uh, I forgot that was a lot of time. Okay, so we entered the vanished cap to enter the castle more easily. Okay, so rip estimate. Well, who cares? We'll we'll have some people who recovers. There will definitely be some people who save a bunch of time over the estimate. <laughs> So basically, how he fell there is, he tried to long jump, but he did it on the edge of the cloud, so it ended up being a single jump instead. Not the 120th star. Bowser 3 is strict of all coins, so you can't recover health. Yeah. It has no stars. Yeah, but the stage requires 120 to enter. There's an extra star in the slide instead of the Sorry Monsters 3. The extra star is from the slide. Yeah, we don't want to support too much of Monsters 3. Oh boy, he's kind of low on health now. Flying with the wind cap isn't exactly the easiest thing. At least not when you have to do it with the speed of a cannon shot. Ah, oh, he missed it. I got another ad. Come on. Oh, one health. Come on, Stan. One. Okay, you got the first red coin. Good. That made me focus here. There we go, that's the first two. Okay, making good progress now. Five. Oh yeah, Stein can make it under 330 if he's really good at comes with P. Which he might be. Depends on how much he has practiced. Well, this run is pretty far away from his PB, so... 10. Commentators forgot how we count. We just have delay. Okay. We're almost at one point. Here we go. There it is. Yep. So now you're gonna see why we need 120 stars for the final boss level. It's because we need to enter the best level. 
see it. You have to do this with one HP, and it's invisible. Double. And he's dead. Oh. Oh, that's just faster. Nine. Okay, take two. What the third where Bowser 3 normally is a trap that kills you. And a sign saying you need 120 stars. Yeah, having for long jump on a box. Fun and fair. And there are a bunch of amps everywhere with are really bad because it's super easy to get damaged by apps. Okay, we made it to the start case. Well, at least we can see where there's fire. Having to long jump in boxes is evil. That's the hardest part. Part before the fold. Okay, we're. The platforms are so tiny. Okay, we're at the pole. Yeah, I got a crazy glitchy wall kick. I have no idea how. Let's go, Stan. Okay. There's the pole. Come on. Okay, there's a chain shop here. Even worse. Oh my god. <laughs> that was scary. Okay, we're at the fight. We're not gonna make the estimate. We're gonna get 330 just barely. Only the problem here is that we're still at one health. And if we go through the whole level again, if we die. So dying on this fight is bad. One. But yeah, since uh, the fire kind of makes you wanna wait for boss to run. We usually have an inside joke that uh, well, that Bowser is trying to be part of the NBA because he jumps like it's RNG if he jumps or runs. So that's why we say NBA does not want you here, Bowser. Okay, so it needs one more hit. By the way. And yeah, as you can see, the bombs go further away, so you need to stand at the very edge. Come on, and be a hit. Okay, he just Ooh. needs to hit this though. Okay. There's not even a bomb over there. Okay, there we go. What is this RNG? My <laughs> god. That is getting so unlucky right now. He also was right next to Mario when he started running. Oh. 
This is like me when speedrunning any game that has a Bowser fight in it. Well, at least he ran immediately. And there it is. Yeah, we did. Now we just, well, almost. But imagine if we get hit by the fire. The same mistake Simple Flips did that one time. Okay, so time ends at the sword drop. Time. B332. 05. Bro. I will say goodbye now. I guess. It's it actually 330 something because of that two minute delay at the start. It was interesting to uh, commentate the game I haven't even played. So yeah, see ya. Yeah, thanks for giving your commentary, guys. That was awesome. Alright, and with that, looks like our... Kaizo Mario 64 run by Stans is coming to a close, so everybody get your GG's out in chat. That was pretty awesome. And as this game wraps up with the credits, we're going to be moving on with the marathon. Um, Shark is actually going to take over now, Shark 3143, as the restreamer as we head into this next block. And the next run will be by Denferk with I Want to Be the Justice Guy, so stay tuned.